Now the command for DSCP checking is go to your enable mode. The first command is show IP DSCP binding. Let's type this command show IP DSCP binding, press enter. You can see here this is IP address is assigned, this IP address is also assigned, and this IP is also assigned by the by the DSCP on this router. The hardware address of clients are these, this, and this, and this is the type. It means this is this IP address assigned automatically. The second command in DSCP is show IP DHCP pool. Now the pool name is Cisco. DHCP pool. This command is not working on Cisco Packet Tracer, but this command is run on real Cisco routers. Now the next command is Relay. This Relay is like this. This is our router 1, this is router 2, and this is router 3. This is our DSCP server. And this is our DSCP client. So this router is really for DSCP requests. This, uh, this is not a CCNA topic, so we skip this topic here. We will discuss about it in CCNP. So the next command is conflict. If someone statically configured an IP address on a LAN, then and the DSCP server hands out that same address, you will end up with a duplicate address. This is not good, which is why this command is so helpful. In this case, 10.0.0.1 is a part of our pool, but this IP address is stat statically given to an uh, interface. That is our that is our this interface of this router. So this IP is a part of our pool, but this IP is giving as statically. This shows in this command's result that is conflict. The next command is show IP DHCP server static. This command is also not run. This is the command, this is another command that is used in DSCP server, it lists DSCP server statics, a lot of them. This command is also not run on Cisco Packet Tracer. 
Now this is all about the DSCP commands.